Trying pump or I don't even know, bro. What is with these always being so fast? Why are they always so fast? I don't even know what's going on. Nice. Okay. Four out of ten. I don't know what's going on. I don't like the style though. Draw a plus sign first. Draw two hearts vertically. Why do you make lips so complicated to draw? They're not that hard to draw. And that's coming from somebody who used to draw lips like Pee Pee the Frog. Instead of doing it this way, you can just draw a bird on the top, a sexy M, and then a line. Bro, what is happening on that bottom whip? Mmm. Ain't seen. Eight out of ten. That was a pretty good one. This one is way slower than the other art tutorials that we were watching. Nine out of ten. I like the pacing. Are you scared of drawing hands? No. Well, I'm here to help. So the first thing I like to focus on is the shape of the palm of the hand. Remember that this changes depending on the viewing angle. The second thing is the angle of the fingers. Look at them in relation to one another. Find the angle of the thumb and its relationship to the rest of your hand. I like to begin my drawings by laying down the shape of the palm. The overall shape of the fingers come next, and then I start isolating the shapes for each individual finger. Always work from the big shapes down to the smaller details. You can see I do a lot of construction lines between knuckles and joints. This is just to get a sense of the relationship between these different elements. Always remember that practice is key. Your first hand drawings will look like AI art but trust the process do your studies and they'll get better with time 10 out of 10 this man is god nice starting off with nice lines with respect yes is her hair okay she looks like she needs conditioner a lot of conditioner i'm the hookup for essential oils our tutorials be like okay but why is this like me though i feel called out one out of ten how dare you light and then add black for the shadow think of it as another light source with different hue and saturation if you're working on digital medium this guy's voice is making me tired but i will finish this video because i respect him just like i respect the other nonsense that's on here add a new light source hitting the face i'm going for a warmer light on this one Doing it this way adds more flexibility on your main light source. Note the difference between the color and saturation between the light and the shadow. Okay, what well, this dude didn't say that made it actually pop out more. If you tried this and it didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to, you see this? You see this little yellow? You see that little yellow? You see that? That's lights into lights. He didn't tell you this. Here I drew a character with the exact same shading that Shore had, and if you look, on off, on off. You see, the, you see what I'm saying? This is the this is the key secret to making your lights and shadows like hit more. Like it has more effect on it. That's why his first picture was like, what the fuck? And then his second picture was like, what the fuck? How to draw a body. I feel like I'm learning nothing here. You just drawing a body. I don't know how you did this. I mean, I see the shapes, things, but we're like, uh, uh, I feel, I feel helpless. Ooh, Gojo. Curve lines are two in the middle, wavy line at the bottom of the top. Square draw line. That's a square? If that is a square, I think our shape language might differentiate very vastly. Oh, like old man Gojo. Is his head on fire? Good job. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I would like to say thank you to my two Patreons, Mark M and Tree. The more Patreons we have, the more we can make a beautiful background. Every Patreon is a piece of art, and soon we will have a masterpiece.